tour that I would have loved to play most would have been with Exodus, with Paul Bellow still alive. That to me would have been like a dream come true. Uh, he's my favorite singer of all time. And the first Exodus record is, in my opinion, and I think almost all of our band's opinion, the best thrash metal record of all time. So that would be cool. Back in the day, uh, I, I think a lot of bands had a lot of different sounds and a lot of different looks. So every band, even though if they were in the same genre, they sounded different and they looked different. The idea of um, metal was not as fragmented. You would see a band like Destruction tour with a band like the Cro-Max in the States and a band like Possessed that was that had like a death metal slash black death type of Im image would still tour with um, thrash metal bands and, and it, it was just like the there weren't any borders or any any kind of limits to metal itself. It was all you know accepted and all one in a sense as long as it was kind of extreme. That was the positive thing of the 80s. Nowadays, you are either in a lane and then you play with bands that are in that lane or you can't you can't break out of it. In in a way, it's kind of interesting because now you get like packages that cater to the appetite of 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 those fans that that like that specific type of metal but it also makes it a little boring, I think. So I'll say Slayer, because they had a lot of records that I really like, even though Exodus wrote my favorite thrash metal record, but I think the body of work of Slayer is um, really impressive. And the first four Slayer records are really outstanding, so I would go with Slayer. Megadeth. I think Megadeth have uh, more interesting records than Metallica. And the reason being is the first two Metallica records are really outstanding, but then the first four Megadeth records are all awesome. New York, because I've been living there for a while uh, as well. Well, I grew, up, I grew up in Wiesbaden, which is right next to Frankfurt, but um, my life for the past 20 years, been in New York. All my home is in New York, so obviously it's New York. 